great. Needs a quarter to work. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Looks like it's still intact. Gas siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned. Like every other place in this city. Plenty of docks, no boats. No way that one's salvageable. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. What the hell? Get down, get down! We hiding. Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Not from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. 
Mind if I get up? Slowly. Kenny, no, it's not our guy! No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Mead started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us. Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here, find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. 
Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just great. Isn't that the... The way we came here. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mark, is there a... gonna let her go? Hey! You can't just leave us here! Really? Watch! No! Please! Please don't leave us! <sighs> Come on! Make it fast! Oh, fuck me! Come on! Come on! Hurry! One good jump! No! Please! Hurry! Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! Open. Here, use that to pry it open. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Shit. Bill Sama. Touching that, last thing I need is some god awful disease. It's a drainage pile. Looks like some kind of drainage pipe. Good 
good thing I'm out here, and not in there. Hmm, seems loose. Must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Those bars are way too solid. Looks like somebody saw the damn thing off. No way I could pick that up on my own. something back there. old nuclear fallout shelters. Wonder if someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. <laughs> 